my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at will your person come back, okay? So this is for those of you that are in separation or you're feeling a strong disconnect between you and your romantic energy, whether this is an ex, this, whether this is someone that you were like deeply or loosely involved with. We'll see, and for whatever reason, that the two of you have parted and gone separate ways, we'll see whether he or she, your romantic interest, will be coming back into your life here. Hopefully the cards will be able to give us some clear messages and hopefully we'll also get like indications, if they are coming back, indications of a time frame or any other details that you might need to know around them coming back here. This is a general reading, so please just be mindful of that as well. If you're after a personal tarot reading, whether you'd like for me to follow on from these messages or just, you know, a personal reading in general, feel free to connect with me and I will be listing the email address below. So let's go ahead and get the cards a shuffle here and see whether your person will be coming back. Oh, we've had a card that flipped over. Where is it? We've had two. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. The death as well. I'm blocking the light here. I feel like I have to stand on the other side. Can we all see that? Okay, no, we can't because I'm blocking the light. Okay, so will your person come back? Oh, okay. There's a lot of wishing and hoping and longing and yearning here, guys. Okay, especially with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups tells me that for some of you, there's a strong sense of, you know, you like being very desirous of this person or this person maybe wanting to, wanting to come back and wanting to reconnect. But there's a part of them that I feel like it's like that there's something here that holds them back or there's something here that I feel like is it's almost like they're waiting maybe for a more opportune or ideal time to do so or if this is you maybe you're the one that's hoping and wishing and trying to manifest you know them coming back into your life yeah the nine of pentacles tells me that for whatever reason that the two of you have parted I mean you have firstly you have death that's come up here and this is obviously a strong indicator that something he has definitely ended between the two of you okay it has come to a halt a stagnation the ending of a relationship a connection love romance chapter cycle you know the two, something he completely flatlining um but of course we all know that nothing truly ends when things you know where there is death there is rebirth and th when things end there's an opportunity for new beginnings whether with this person or whether with a new entire you know entirely with a new energy here so i feel like something he has it's almost like this is because this is a very transitional transformative type of energy and i feel like for whatever reason that the two of you have ended things it was the universe he was trying to communicate to you that you needed to work on yourselves individually Okay, because for some of you, you're coming up as an energy where maybe the two of you were too, like things were getting a little bit too toxic for one another. Okay, maybe on your own, you guys are pretty healthy, you're pretty great, but together it's just toxic. You guys are toxic for one another. Maybe the two of you were too codependent, co-reliant on one another. You were just too consumed and too intoxicated and just too drunk on the love and the passion you had for one another. And this is, I feel like the universe sort of went, okay, I'm just going to give you this opportunity to disconnect or separate from one another because you need to work on yourselves. You need to work on building a better relationship with yourself. Because bear in mind, guys, the relationship that you have with yourself essentially sets the tone for all future relationships. So to me, this is a strong message that I get for you guys is that for the, re the reason why the two of you had why things ended between the two of you or why there is now a space and a distance between the two of you is because the nine of pentacles points to me that you need to spend a little bit more time the both of you do investing in yourselves individually okay so cultivating more peace within yourself building a better relationship with yourself connecting with yourself okay your inner self because if you don't love yourself how can you expect for anyone to love you 
Hmm? If you can't show yourself love, how can you expect for anyone to waltz through the door and show you the love that you need, that you deserve? So some of you, you need to cultivate happiness and peace starts from within. And if you're looking for happiness or if you're looking for peace, if you're looking for someone else to give you that, you're looking in all the wrong places. So some of you, you know, you need to spend, you need to spend some time on building a better relationship with yourself. If and when you finally do, I feel like you guys will have that opportunity to come back together and it will be bigger and better than before. However, if that opportunity is wasted, then I feel like this, unfortunately, this too will be wasted here. So, you know, death tells me that someone here needs to, someone is going through a lot of changes it's like they're shedding their skin or they need to go through a transformation or a transition of some sort in order to accept the child like in order to accept the changes or to accept what's coming from for them in the future so the two of swords tells me that someone here is not ready because you guys are coming up as an you know you're coming up as a two of swords the um energy here either you have two very different people in your life and even as i do this reading maybe you're torn okay you're torn between this person and you're torn between that if you feel this way then i know this is going to sound a little bit blunt but if you feel this way if you feel like you have love for two very different people i mean is that love in the first place because if you're at a point where you're not if you're unsure if there's uncertainty, then I think that you know. And I think that you know the answer, but you just don't want to deal with it, is what I feel. But for those of you that have two very different people, and you're stuck between two very different people, to me, and I, I get that this is blunt, but it feels like neither one is the one, purely because you're, because, purely because of this uncertainty and this, you know, undecisive kind of energy. Because when this, when, you know, you meet the one, you just feel it. You just feel it and you know it. And if you at a point where you have to second guess or you have to, you know, um, pause and think on it, then I don't know that, and especially if there's two involved here, then I don't know that either one is the one. Maybe not right now anyways. Um, but definitely a very stagnated kind of energy with the two of swords, okay? So for a lot of you, Maybe you are dealing with someone who is like who blocks you a lot, okay? Maybe you're dealing with someone who has this who's very prone prone to blocking you. Like if the two of you have an argument or a disagreement, bam, they block you. Okay, if not if they're not actually blocking your your number here. So some of you I feel like you have been blocked by this person, okay? They've blocked your number, they've blocked you on their social media accounts. Some of you I feel like you've been blocked by their energy where this person is just, you know, they're not very receptive or responsive towards you. Let them be. Do not chase anyone, okay? Do not chase anyone because the people that are meant to be in your life, they will make the effort to come into your life and to stay there, okay? And if you feel like you need to convince someone to, you know, to, to stay or to stick around, then, tell me, then I'll tell you you're dealing with the wrong person here, okay? Because I feel like, yes, there is opportunity. I mean, you've got the devil heat. Something tells me that the two of you are still very much... Like, you guys haven't released each other's energy, and that's okay, because you're not ready to do so. So even though things have ended between the two of you, there's still something that connects the two of you together, that binds you together. Whether it's an emotional or a mental throw, uh, cord here, whether it's, you know, the fact that the two of you still have very strong feelings for one another. The devil is the biggest indication that this person is going to come back into your life, okay? But, and this is a big but, because this absolutely will change whether or not it works this time around. They have someone here, and look, maybe both it's both of your energies here, but I'm getting that someone here or both persons involved here need to deal with their either their insecurities, their anxieties, their fears, their inadequacies, their in, insufficiencies, whatever it is that's because they someone here has this it's sort of like they have this dark relationship with their thoughts or their you know, self-worth, and they need to be able to shine a light. There is a darkness in this connection that weighs them down, okay, that weighs this connection down. So, for example, maybe this connection is really filled with a lot of insecurities or with a lot of pain, with a lot of anxiety here. And if you don't identify what that darkness is, 
that unfortunately this connection will be consumed by it. But if the two of you, oh look, maybe it's a darkness in like that exists individually, okay? And unfortunately that person is not working through that darkness and not shining a line on that darkness and that prevents them from actually, you know, living a healthy relationship or forming a healthy connection. But whether it's individually or whether it's together as a couple, I feel like there's a light that needs to be shown on some sort of darkness here. And you know, there are certain and what I mean by that is there are certain issues that this relationship suffers from. But the good news is, is those issues can be fixed. The bad news is is are they ready to fix it? Or are you ready to fix it? Are you ready to work on it? Okay? If you answered yes, then I feel like this relationship holds a lot of promise here. Okay, and there is potential. I mean, you've got the Nine of Cups here. I feel like things, you've got death, which is, you know, a transition, a transformation, new cycles, new beginnings. You've got the Nine of Cups, which is a law of attraction and manifestation. So, you know, there is good news here. But if you've answered no, then I feel like you will be right back to where you started and you will be consumed by the darkness here. The Emperor is also someone who's very, uh, who is he? He's very, how do I say this? He's stubborn, Okay. He sticks to what works and what works works for him, but it doesn't necessarily work for everyone else. So someone here is a little bit rigid, okay? We need to loosen this person, this energy up. So someone here I feel like is too stuck in their ways and this energy, I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with, it's like it's my way or the highway, okay? But this person needs to know that their way doesn't always work. Their way is not everyone else's way, okay? And they have to be able to be a little bit more flexible, a little bit more fluid and adaptable, okay? Otherwise, the relationship will suffer. So, all in all, to sum up here, will this person come back into your life? I do feel like they will be back purely because the devil tells me that you guys definitely, like, you are really drawn to one another, okay? And you guys just sort of magnetize towards one another. So, yes, this person will be back, but it's important that Whoever it is, whether individually or together as a couple, they heal or they work on some of the issues that this relationship suffers from. So there is opportunity to come back into, um, into for this person to come back. Right now, feels like it's not a good time. It feels like maybe someone is at a crossroads or I feel like maybe the two of you are just not in a position to reconcile or to reconnect here. But I am seeing that there is opportunity, but I feel like what... You really need to focus on is working on yourself the both of you okay and everything else will just line up and fall into place of that I'm sure okay guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening if you're after personal reading whether you want me to follow on from this or just in general please feel free to reach out my email is below otherwise take care bye for now